Hello, L.A. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Word has it a local Toreador managed to give the Mandarin a Fusin to get the slip. Not bad for a fledgling, hmm? All right, callers, what do we think? Where is she headed off to next? So there's a ton of places in Chinatown we have not been to yet. There's the White Cloud. We've been to the Red Dragon. We've been to the ramen place, I think. <laughs> oh, the Giovanni Mansion is a point of no return. That's actually very good for me to know that. Thank you. That way, I do that after everything else. Oh, hi. I really like your shop. It's very cool. Oh, I actually can't get there. What's up? There is something in this door for everybody. Yeah? Everyone gets what they deserve. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm reminded of a story. A thief named Lin was asked to steal an emerald for the head of his gang. The gem belonged to a man in a Hong Kong triad. Most would refuse this danger, but Lin was anxious to do it, and indeed he did. Uh huh. When Lin returned, he did not want to part with the emerald he stole. He felt that the trouble he went through to take it made his ownership legitimate. The man who hired him did not feel the same way, nor did the man he stole it from. Do you know what happened to Lin? Are you Lin? No. Lin was caught. One man has his gem back, but Lin's employer has nothing. I'd heard this tale from him when he visited my store. Sadly, I had nothing to sell him. Is there a point to this? Lin's eyes wanted more than his hands could keep. Ambitious eyes are, sadly, not for sale here at the moment. Though I do have a buyer interested. Do you know when the next eye harvest is, by chance? Excuse me? Like, I obviously notice his eyes are different colors, but we're not literally talking about eyes, right? We're not literally talking about stealing eyes. This is not cyberpunk. We're not swapping them out. I harvest. Lynn's body is being kept in a freezer in the back of a local noodle shop, I hear. There are people there who want him intact. But I think his eyes would fill my shelf nicely if they were to wander in. I gouge hell. A fitting punishment for Lynn. Are you for real? What do you want with his eyes, old man? No. No, 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 no. If destiny wills it, then it will be done. I cannot ask any more than this. Whatever, you creepy, crazy old man. I'm getting out of here. What? Just... There's been some... Dark shit in this game. But nothing quite like the innocuous old man who's like, Hey, I met a dude and he told me a story. I heard he's on ice next door. Could you go grab his eyes for me? Hello? I literally don't have words. He said the noodle shop next door. 
Can I get in now? No, uh, it's locked. No. Do you get into the sewers? Wait, did it give us the quest? No, it did not. This is some Shabiri shit. Oh, this guy was funny. Have we been in Kamikaze Zen yet? <sighs> oh, apparently we can with the key. Kamikaze Zen. That sounds familiar. Am I gonna get in trouble for being here? Hey, who's there? Oh, this is Mitnick's quest? Oh, it's because it was in a different tab. Oh my God. Shit, we have so much other stuff. We, I totally forgot. I totally forgot about the Carnival of Death. I kind of want to look around for the Hengayokai. That's kind of what I want to do at the moment. And I guess we need to go back at some point and figure out what the fuck Tongue wants. That's right, Durbin, the mud hunt. Like, shit. Did find a key to Lucky Star Motel, though. I think Lucky Star was Hollywood. So let's go to Hollywood and try to catch up on some of the quests. And I think we don't have, we don't have a house in Hollywood. We have to go back to downtown to check our fucking email. It would be really convenient if we could like pull out a cell phone and check our email on our phone. So we didn't have to keep going back and forth like that. Going somewhere? Um, away from here. Oh, okay. Let's see. What? Criminal violation? What do you mean? Please. I don't understand what's happening. Is it because... Well, I don't even know how I had a gun out in the first place. I didn't have a gun out just a second ago. Oh my god, the police. <laughs> really? The boys in blue, everyone. <laughs> Star Wars this way. That's so weird. We didn't even have our gun out. Yeah, I do. I understand it was a, a known bug, but it's just so such a weird one. You know what I mean? Okay, so Durbin. We're looking for Durbin. Can I? Do you care if I step back here? Oh, that's right. I've already been back here. Hey, I need to know if there's a Durbin. Oh, you got a whole ass box of donuts, my guy. Oh, I want donuts. Your swimming pool is very empty. Okay, so we can't get in there. Oh, was that a different one? We can get in here, six. Oh my God. <gasps> my work is done. Hello? What just happened? What the fuck just happened? Using the key you found at the last murder site, you burst into a room at the Lucky Star Motel just in time to see the serial killer make his escape. I was looking for Durbin. I didn't know those two were connected. Do those quests just like become one? 
unite in holy matrimony? Oh, okay. I was like, what's going on? Brother Salvage. Jesus. Okay, so. <laughs> Oh, I thought there was, like, blood on the inside of the windows there for a second, but it's just a little discoloration. I'm gonna go ahead and check everyone now. Okay, so this is the the one that we looked at previously. And are there rooms on the first floor? What a sad little swimming pool. Empty. Lonely. You better finish those donuts. They look delicious. Oh, man. I have a friend coming over for dinner later. And I, uh, I'm already ready. Like, my body is ready. I have not eaten today yet. <laughs> okay. We found a business card from Brother Salvage in Santa Monica. So we gotta go to Santa Monica now. All right, taxi. We know what to do now. Where to? Drive. I'll tell you when the mood hits me. Can we still check our email here? Oh. It's a, it's a nice night out, huh? Brother Salvage, Brother Salvage. Wow, this is a throwback. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's one of those days. Time to sneak. Every second takes us closer to the time of judgment. Time of judgment gets closer. Now that man did just throw himself a whole ass out of a window. Is he a supernatural of some variety, maybe? Oh. I think the answer to that question is yes. Oh, well, I didn't I didn't really need this, but thank you. Can we investigate anything? Not a damn thing. Hi, puppy. Are we doing this? Hi, puppy. His name is Buttercup, and I love him. He doesn't love me, though. Did you just throw a car at me? Oh, I can't move, actually. I'm, I am just mashing buttons. Maybe if I... Nope, I can't. Well. It's a good thing I saved. Throw more cars at me. Stop. I want up on the cars.
I'm already tired of your bullshit. And I just got here. No one's impressed by your feats of strength, Jeremy. In fact, I'm pretty annoyed. I can't get past. So he has to do like a clean throw or else it doesn't work. Oh, I did it. Jeremy? We need to have a talk about this. Oh. You're just making a scene and you're throwing a tantrum. I'm gonna save again. I don't trust it. This is the equivalent of like screaming Patricia, Three, four, but it's five, Jeremy. Six, seven. Patricia! That's where we're at. I see that crane. What are you doing, butt face? This isn't me. She's doing this weird. No! Hey, oh. Back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! You threw a ton of cars at me! What's the matter? Afraid of that fight? My work is done. I don't want to, but I'll fight you to the death. What's your work? Killing random... I don't want to say that. That's mean. Killing random people? Betraying kindred secrets? What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. All the same, I'd love to hear your explanation. Why? So you can pass judgment on me? So you can decide if those murderers deserve to be gutted? You'll never know how it feels. Never! Try. Make me understand. My family, my children were butchered by small-time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there in the way? Oh... Oh, this guy was in the diner the first time we enter. He threatened a guy over the phone, assumedly muddy. There's probably nothing that you could have done. Not one of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen. I understand. I tracked them down, hunted them. One by one, caught them all. The one you saw in Hollywood. He was the last of them. Two has a point, but uh, that man just lost his whole family. Uh, I have a hard time not empathizing with that. That's so rough. Maybe if we can convince him that his revenge is complete, we'll just be done with this. Because he is kind of putting the masquerade at risk, but um, we could just murder him, but uh, I don't want to have to do that if I don't have to. And so your revenge is complete. Revenge, justice, whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds and licking their blood from my claws. You got them. 
It's over. You can get on with life. I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. Wait. I, you can't just be a vigilante, dude. That's the beast talking. It has a hold on you. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At least I did something! Maybe. But you lost... Oh. Oh, I don't want to say he has to be dealt with. Because I don't want to be the doing the dealing with him. I just want to try to counsel him into maybe being a little bit more discreet if he feels like he needs to play Batman. You should practice more control. Or you'll end up answering to the sheriff. I can't turn my back on the evil in this world. Do you think your family would be proud of how you're acting? No. Oh, God, no. No. It's got to stop. I can't live like this. You're right. Oh, God, you're right. I'll never do it again. I swear. Forgive me. Oh. Oh. We could send him to the Anarchs? Okay. I'm a little confused, though. Are the Anarchs going to take him in? Because you're fighting for the right things, justice, and um, righting wrongs? And that's what we're affiliating the Anarchs with? Is that what we're getting at? Or are we literally sending him to his death? Because if he wants to join the Anarchs and like make the world a better, brighter place, 100%. I'm here for that. Like, it's terrible what happened to his family, but if we can try to make the best of the situation that we've been given by helping other people, hopefully, I'm hoping that's what that means. Good. You should talk to some people in the last round downtown, then. Yeah! That point in persuasion. I'm hoping that was helpful for us. Nice, we did it. Oh, he just shut his door. Is he back in here? The guy that like poofed looked different though. This, this poofy dude, he looked different. Can we go back through here? Hi, Buttercup. Oh, y'all didn't know you could save him? Heck yeah! He just needed a... I'm not gonna work... Yo! Yo! Instead... Wait, but there might be stuff down there. There might be goodies. Oh, I think it just cut off my... That's fine. If we miss out on a few goodies, it's okay. Let's go see if he's at the last round, though. That would be really cool. Oh, sparing him cuts content, though? I think it's the right thing to do. Oh, sparing him is cut content. Okay. I have seen the That's better. I like that. Horizon. Oops, we gotta go this the way. Worms are stripping the it's cut content that has been restored. Okay, okay. So, let's go see if he's at the last round. Need a ride? Um, yes, just drive. And that way we can also check our email while we're there. Man, I wish you wouldn't punch everything all the time. I'm gonna check email first because I know where that is. Also, we haven't sold stuff in a while. Hey, Larry? What's up, dude? Oh, we can't stand too close to Larry. Baby girl, you know I got what you need. I need to do some shopping, Larry. Okay, let's sell him our tire iron and our knife and our police baton. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. We really don't need money. We don't have to sell them. 
I don't need to sell any of that. Um, we do have some morphine, though, we can sell. Oh, that toy makes me so mad. Let's get at least a hundred, because this is the gun we use the most. And then we're maxed out on our shotgun. Oh, we, we might as well, we've got money, let's just... Okay. Thanks, Larry. Check it out, check it out, step right up. Now for email. We're good on blood. Okay. We're on level four. Awesome. Maybe we've been gone long enough for Heather to have more interactions. That would be cool. Hi. Master? Oh, no, she doesn't. Email. Oh, that's right, so we got that poster. Oh, and then Vivi's up there. Nice. Two unread emails. Amazing. So, 13. Um, from Beckett! Hello, young one. LaCroix praised you. It's resourceful. So, maybe you could assist me with an important matter. A fellow gangrel. What? A fellow gangrel? I thought he was a werewolf. He's not a werewolf. He just has the wolf shape. I'm so upset. I thought he was a werewolf. <sighs> How sad. A fellow gangrel, Scott, who was doing research for me at the public library, claims to have seen a Sabbat kindred there. As I find myself preoccupied right now, please meet him in my stead at the old smoke shop in Santa Monica. He'll have details. Scott was very insistent that something is afoot, and we wouldn't want anything bad to happen to all those precious books there, would we? Beckett. Boo. Oh, uh, yeah, werewolves are definitely much more murder puppy, but werewolves in World of Darkness, as far as I understand, are basically druids, and so they're keeping the balance of nature. They're kind of anti-vampire in a lot of ways. Which is our new one? There we go, 16. The queen from a friend, beware the black queen. Hmm. I am well aware that the gangrel can shapeshift. Um, he just specifically took the form of a wolf and I know that wolves, werewolves, have like their wolf form and then the like hybrid form and then their person form. So I guess when I think gangrel, it's not, when I see a man and a wolf interchanging, my first thought is werewolf, not necessarily gangrel. We have a gangrel in our game. He turns into a crocodile. All right. Now we have to go all the way back to the smoke shop in Santa Monica. Ooh. Now, to be fair, the gangrel in Vampire the Requiem may work completely different than VTM. Again, I play Requiem, not VTM. So I don't know how Vampire the Masquerade works. Just Vampire the Requiem. We are shifting to Masquerade at some point. We just have not currently made that switch. Okay, now we have to find... No, we have to go to the last round, and then we can go back to Santa Monica. So let me look at the map. Hello, Lunar. Requiem is really cool. I've had a really good time with it. We've been playing it for like a hot second, like five years, I think. We've got a really great game. Last round is oh, literally at the other end of town. So, but Empire hey. Arms Apartments. No. So we have to go to the right and just go all the way down. I think. Oh, according to Kindred Legend, Gangrel have managed to pose as werewolves briefly. Some of them at least, that's funny. 
I bet you can for a hot second. And then the jig is up. Particularly if the person probably has any experience with werewolves. That's cool. Oh, it's Werewolf the Forsaken. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm not familiar with the names of the other books. Okay, fingers crossed he's in here. That would be really cool if he was. That'd be really cool. There's Jack. And this guy. And Damsel. No, he's not here. Not even in the potties. A shame. Oh, what's down there? Oh, it's just where Jack is. Boo! That would have been really cool if if he'd shown up here. That would have been very, very nice touch. Oh well. Guess we're going back to Santa Monica. Now I gotta run all the way back. What are the other books? There's Mage, there's Hunter, and then Vampire and Werewolf. Am I forgetting any? I haven't touched any of the other ones. Just Vampire the Requiem. We have the Vampire the Masquerade book, the new one, 5e, I think. But, uh, oh, Changeling. I bet Changeling is cool. Oh, there's Demons, too? They're their own books? Oh my god, there's a Kui Jin book? Oh, Wraith, Oblivion, Mummy? Fuck. Hop so in. many. Um, okay, let's go. Santa Monica. What is Promethean the created? There's so many books. Lovely evening. Okay, uh, he wanted us to go to smoke shop. Oh, they're at, they're like Frankenstein's monster. That's cool. Okay, let's save really quick. We've been in here really early on and there was nothing to do. No wonder. Because we just hadn't gotten to the quest yet. Okay, hold on. What are we supposed to be doing? We're finding out what the Sabat's doing in the downtown library. But we need to meet Scott first. Which is what we're here for. For Scott. Are you Scott? Or are you Scott? I'm gonna say... Oh, what is this? A letter. Beckett couldn't wait any longer. The guy left early. He intends to meet someone at the end of the pier. Scott, are you leading me on a wild goose chase, sir? Good evening to you. Um, just looking around. Oh. Well, ain't that something. Um, I'm back. You got it. Oh. I hope you don't taste too strong of tobacco. Come here. I don't need any blood, really. Sorry. That's all. Thank you. Thanks for the top off. Okay. Time to go to the pier. Okay. We're almost there. He's just leading us on a... Um, a little treasure hunt, leaving behind clues. It's kind of sad coming back, like, and not seeing all the familiar faces that we're used to. Like the Thin Bloods, for instance. Oh my goodness, there's different time period settings with each version of the supernatural? That's so cool. I had no idea, honestly. That's really, really cool. I don't know a ton of the lore, but I'm really interested to start delving deeper into Vampire the Masquerade and then branching out and starting to learn a little bit more about all of the other ones too. All the little facets of World of Darkness, or Chronicles of Darkness, I can never forget. I can never remember which one it is right now. End of the pier. But it's, uh... I 
it's closed off. <gasps> we can go in. Sometimes when you click it the second time, it'll swing the other way, but. Oh, I'm sure there are many uh, wiki holes to delve down. Banana split. Jobby's Taco Shack. Taco sounds so good. I'm just hungry. Ugh. Burgers, fries, and soda. I wonder if this is like, because I know that there's actually a like Santa Monica Pier. I wonder if these are any of the actual uh, stores. Or maybe they were at one time. That would be really cute. There's like a, I think a boat off in the distance. Let's save again. Oh, actually that's kind of perfect. All right. This is really cool. So this is new. I like it. I'm nervous though. <laughs> okay, I thought there was a door. Oh, is there an, uh, another note? Beckett, the meeting here seems to be a trap. In case I don't make it, check the shop on the move in Santa Monica. The coffee shop. I left the door unlocked. My password is the city of the coffin. Scott. Hello? What the fuck was that? Hold on, hold on. Thanks for the axe, I guess. Woo! Oh, there's uh, the Burger Krieg on YouTube. It has some good lore videos for the clans. That's pretty nifty. Oh no, there's blood here. Did, did he get Scott? Is that what we're supposed to take from that? Oh, an outstar too? I will be sure to give them a peep. I'm so glad we did get to come out to the end of the pier. I was always sad we couldn't go. And here we are. That's amazing. The only shame is we didn't get to go on the Ferris wheel. Dang, very cool. Can we open this one? Boo. <laughs> I was just hoping we could get them both. Outstars videos are mostly on Masquerade. Awesome. I think there's like a several LARPs that go on, like group LARPs, not like a single area. It's like every so often. I think it's like, is it for Saturnalia? I think that Vampire the Masquerade's having like a, everyone comes over across the world to a certain place to do a LARP. Which sounds so much fun, honestly. That would be so heckin' cool. We should put our gun away. And our clothes back on. All right, actually, let's check the quest. That's right. A password's supposed to be City of the Coffin? This is a coffee shop. We know it's the coffee shop. Oop, shit. I took that turn a little sharply. That one's on Main Street. Because that should be right next to the gallery. Ugh, fucking gimbal. All right, here we are. I thought it was the password to get into the door. It must be the password to get into something else. Cool! Look at all the fucking cool places we get to get into. It has a lot of Goliath beer stuff for a coffee shop. Oh, 
Oh, it's special coffee. The beer kind. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say, we should have enough to get in here. Can we get in this, though? No. Being in the bathrooms? Man, people need to pick up their stuff. Gross. Okay, we're in. Shut the door. No, shut the door. Thank you. All right. Let's try hacking it first. Ankara. The Ankaran sarcophagus. Oh my goodness. Beckett asked me to do research about an ancient sarcophagus for him in the public library. Why is this a back here? Rather boring stuff, but then I noticed another kindred sneaking around. He seemed to step from shadow to shadow, like through a door. Is it a La Sombra? I have absolutely no idea what a La Sombra is. But what is he doing here in LA? Is it about Beckett's sarcophagus? I'd better follow him around the next few nights. Just to be on the safe side. The kindred from the library went into that abandoned house downtown tonight. The one with the sprayed red symbol nearby. I followed him and was met by a bouncer who asked if I'd been enlightened. Oh, the plague stuff! I wasn't, so he didn't let me in. I had to comply. Later, the new agent of the prince entered it. Soon after, the bouncer ran out in panic and into the sewers. I followed him all the way to Santa Monica, where he then visited the smoke shop to relax. Tonight, I followed the kindred himself to Santa Monica, where he entered the junkyard, probably to meet with that. That's why they were different. The La Sombra was the one that poofed. With that weird guy working there, I was still watching the place when, again, the agent of the prince arrived. Suddenly, the kindred stepped out of a shadow nearby. I hope I wasn't spotted. He took a cab back to the library. I do not know what this La Sombra is up to. Possibly recruiting for the Sabbat? Oh, are there clans that are exclusive to the Sabbat? Or is it some tend to gravitate towards the Sabbat? And they don't necessarily all start there? I'm pretty sure that he failed with the junkyard guy, but I really don't know about the bouncer. This doesn't affect the sarcophagus thing, but I still got a very bad feeling with him. Always returning to the library. I'll contact Beckett and ask for help. Do we get to go to the library? I arranged a meeting with Beckett in the Santa Monica smoke shop, as that bouncer is a regular there. We should find out what he knows. Beckett can be very convincing. Afterwards, I'll show Beckett the old emergency hatch in the sewers that I used to enter the library unseen. We will search for the somber layer there ourselves. Very cool. Nice! Okay, so. Well, the Sombra are like the Ventru, but they were in places of power within the church. They can literally manipulate shadows. Shadow Jutsu. Cool. Oh, they're usually leaders in the Sabbat, or at least they used to be. They've joined the um, Camarilla as of late. Interesting. Yeah, I know that they're, there's like, what, the Hakata... La Sombra, Tamitzi, then of course the like norm normal ones, Toreador, Tremere, Ventru, Gangrel, Bruja, Malkavians, and I'm sure there's a lot of smaller clans. Those are the ones that I'm the most familiar with, as in like I know the names. <laughs> but again, Requiem is my uh, Knowledge base. 
All I got are a few names and a little sprinkling of knowledge here and there. Sewer time. It's sewer time. Now, is that something we access? Okay, so. It's possible to enter the library using the sewers. Oh, oh, it's downtown. I thought I was still in Santa Monica. Is there a library downtown though? Taxi should be over on the other side of Asylum. Perfect. Oop, took my corner too quick. Going somewhere? For now, just drive. Downtown. How exciting. Another cool new clan. That is a tall boy. Wait, what is this one? Another tall boy. You know what probably has the library on it? The map. Public library, 10. Oh shit, we're right next to it. Oh! It's opposite Ventru. I know it says Venture. Tower. So it's the cool thing with the gargoyles. Oh, that's right, that's right. Sewers. Right there. Gary would... Am I underwater? No. It just kind of looked like it. Gross. Okay. Library. Public library 10. E1. So we need to go down and do E1. Go this way. This one? I did I go too far? Or do we have to make a bend? Oh fuck. What I need to start doing is if I think this is the right way, I just need to go the other goddamn direction. Because it's never the right one. I have such an easier time when there's a mini map to look at. Oh, hey. Oh, it's locked. This should be E, right? Okay, good. And there's one and two. We want one. Get in there. Think was to the right. Yeah? Is it library time? Well, let's save. I keep trying to hit enter every goddamn time. All right. I'm not sure what we're doing here other than like, yeah. We just found his laptop and stuff. La Sombra, Sabat. We're just investigating. We don't know what the fuck's happening. Okay, that's not some, oh. That's one way to make an entrance. I turned all the power on. I hear things. Mm. 
Wait, did I turn the power off? Why is it stuck? Ah, fuck me. It's just opening and closing now. I can't really do anything with it. Maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. Can't look at that newspaper. Oh, hi. Vacuum tubes. Oh, they're probably what fixes this. And I had to put them in. Can you put the tubes in, please? Do I put them in here? Yes! That looked more like a light bulb to me, but that's okay. Okay, so now that it sounds like we've got power, let's try the elevator. Mm hmm. Oh, is it just gonna take me there? No, there we go. Stealth mode engaged. Oh, no, I was just peeping, I was peeping. I hate just running out though. I know I do this every time. This is really pretty. out where he's passing. Okay, so he's going upstairs. And then where? And he's just turning around and coming back? Sneaking so fast. The sneakiest. <gasps> Can we get in here? Oh god. We should be good about this. manifest his gates a little wonk I think you can hear the dude on the other side but Spot me, dude. Can we get back behind there? Shit. I'm sneaking so fast, so very fast.
Library. Fire exit. There are guards in the actual library. Not that I can see. Okay, I think we're in the clear. I'm still checking if we can interact with anything, but... I am glad we have so many points in stealth. Let me tell you. Can we access this? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll want the directory computers. Or not. That's also fine. The shiny things always kind of send me for a little bit of a loop because I can never tell when things are reflective or when you can interact with them. No, I did want to stand up. Why won't you let me stand up? Oh, I was too close to the desk. I just want to make sure we couldn't uh, get onto those computers. Okay. I'm not sure what we need to be in here for. And there wasn't anything like sitting out. Can't get on any of the computers. I don't want to take the fire exit because I feel like that's going to be very loud. Let me see if you can even go through here. It does not look like it. Okay, so. Um, maybe we've got two other paths to check across the way from here and then over to the left. That was convenient. Can we get in here? We gotta hurry. I think we're okay though. Are these false doors again? Oh, these bathrooms. Oh god, it's not a real door either. Uh, I don't know if I can make that one. I'm gonna try. Crossing her fingers and going. A gallery. Very pretty. But what's in here? Are there inscriptions I can read? Too noisy. Hmm. Is there maybe some like secret door or something that I missed? There's a door over there that I'm gonna try. I feel like the library bit was gonna have more to it, but I didn't see anything on the first time through at least. Utility. Oh, we can go through here. Oh, there we go. This section managed by Mumbly Joe. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, finally, a computer. That's an odd panel. It's different from all the others. I don't trust it. Okay. But what? Insert card. No available commands? Insert library card. Do we have a library card? I guess we had to find a library card. Mmm. So maybe we try list? I think we need to get a library card. There was a painting in the gallery that looked just like that panel. 
Was it on a wall? It's that one. There's nothing I can do to interact with it. I feel like I need to go back to the library and find a library card. Where's our dude? Okay, he's right there. Which direction are you taking, buddy? Okay, he's going straight. And I too. I don't know if I can make it all the way. I think I gotta go around. I mean, it's pretty shadowy. Maybe if we stick to the shadows, we'll be okay? Nice, we have so much stealth. Okay, library card. So somebody probably would have left it on a table, maybe? I'm gonna look at the ground. All the different spots you could drop a library card. There's a book. It's a, not a book, it's a library card. <laughs> oh, is it like a false book? Like it's a container. Secret. Yeah, you literally can't get out the fire exit. I thought the book was just decorative when I walked through the first time. behind him. I really do hope that tile and painting correspond to something because that'd be heckin' cool. Okay, we've got our library card. Let's head in here. Insert it into the computer and see what it's got for us. Probably all right. All right, insert card. Password. All right, all right. Oh, it's awaken. Is this sarcophagus ship? Switch unlocked. Okay, 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 okay. Let's test the theory. Let's do it. Are you for real? What switch? No, I was so excited. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Brilliant. I don't love that. I'm so sorry for being quiet. It's just the atmosphere. Oh. Oh, honey, no. Why? No. <gasps> Hello? A 
like, get the fuck out of here. Goodbye. Ah, it seems that these final nights has brought us together once again. I see you've begun to embrace the beast within you. I smell the sweetest blood of my brother and upon your very hands. But enough with the pleasantries. Witness the power of my flesh transformed into the vessel of your destruction. Farewell, young canine. I got a broadsword? Um, I know what you're doing in LA. Time to die, Sabat Freak. Oh! Hey, hold on. Ugh. Okay, I don't want to be sneaking. Give me a second to put my clothes on, please. Where are you? Ow, 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 ow. I'm trying to use the sound to guide me. Oh. oh, fuck. Oh my god, I need to heal. Oh, hey, hey, where are you? Oh, there he is. Oh god, I don't know where he is anymore. It's so hard to see. Oh, there. Oh god, it's on the right. Where? Oh, fuck me. Oh, that was there? Ha I have to use my hearing. I cannot. How come he gets to reload so quickly? I did it! <sighs> nice. Oh, yes, we did it. Oh, I, I got a gun. Cool. I I don't know what he was doing down here, but it doesn't look good. Wild, absolutely wild. Look at this shit. You can't even get all of it into one good picture. There's just too much, too many shenanigans. Wild, absolutely. Okay. I, I guess our job here is done. He didn't give us a lot of info. I don't know who he was. Is that, <laughs> is that everything? Who's in the coffin? I'm gonna do another sweep because this, this can't be everything. I mean, I know this is restored content. What were you doing to that dude? Oh, there's a handprint, that's creepy. What were they doing? Yeah, I don't think this is a sarcophagus. He just looks like a Regular old bargain bin casket boy. Okay, maybe I didn't miss anything. Maybe that was just it. Wild. I still have no idea what's going on. I know La Sombra has something to do with it, but. Oh, this one is currently. Ugh. 
Maybe we do do the crouch just because it's easier to walk up the stairs. This one is in the process of being built out. Oh, that's really cool. Worst case, uh, we just play it again later. Like as a Malkavian, I kind of want to see it as a Malkavian. And we get to experience the cool extra content that he adds, that they add. Nice. We did La Sombra things. Now to get the fuck out. Ooh, he coming. I like how this dude does not care about these random doors opening and closing. So three years ago, it was just the library. And then the smoke club, the pier, the coffee shop. That's... Oh, shit. Had my fingers on the wrong things. Oh, sorry. It's not a game. It's a movie. Cool. I don't watch a lot of horror movies. They give me really bad nightmares. So I just try to... Um, I just watch tons of video games that are horror-oriented. Um... I really enjoy horror, but with video games, you can get enough distance from it. Oh, I forgot about that man. I forgot about that man. Oh. Shit. Shit. So in um, horror games, there's enough of removal from immersion. That's what I want. You have enough distance between yourself and the action to enjoy it without like having maximum spoopage. But movies I still, I'm still not great with. I love the mortuary assistant. That's um, out pretty recently, the final update for it. If you have not played or watched that and you like Spoopy, I recommend. Gab Smolders has a really good playthrough. She's very chill and thorough. Oh, oh! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Get out. I was talking about horror stuff. That does not mean that you can show up whenever you feel like it. It was not an invitation, sir. Oh my God. I thought these dudes were dead. <sighs> Jesus. Gave me a fright. What a rude boy. <sighs> yeah, the fleshy geodudes are the worst. Absolute worst. Are they going to be in the sewers now? Wait, how do I get out? Oh, there it is. I couldn't see it in there. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. They're fleshy Chia dudes. We didn't check this one out. What is this one? Where does this take me? Ah. This is behind Larry, right? Hey, what's up, Larry? All right. So, the Giovanni stuff we've got, we're not doing Pisha. Um, ah, we, it says he hasn't sent an email saying he has a proposition for us, but we don't have anything in our email about it. Do I have to go back to Santa Monica because it's a Santa Monica quest and check my Santa Monica email? We haven't done Mitnik yet at, or the Hengayokai. So, we need to run around Chinatown for sure. So this is the only one where I just don't. Let's check it. Try it out. Just to be sure. Because I think the taxi's right over here. Yeah, because if this is the library, it should be pretty close. And if we don't have anything at our Santa Monica email, I don't know what to do about that particular where quest. To? Just drive. Yeah, we still have a ton to do in Chinatown. I'm not super worried about that. 
It's a nice night out, huh? Sure. It's raining. If you're into the rain. Hopefully the Bertram... Is it missing data, I think, was what it was called? Isn't bugged. I mean, I guess we could always go say hello to Bertram and see if that triggers anything as well. Because he's in Santa Monica. Honestly, not too far from uh, the car throwing guy. It'll be incredibly irritating. One unread email, are you for real? Okay, no, it's from Beckett. I was gonna be like, hello again. Scott told me that you interrupted a Sabat trial at the library, which almost got him killed. Oh, Scott must have been the dude who poofed. We are both very grateful for this, and he will make sure the access to the ritual chamber will be cut off in time. Needless to say, that it might not be very smart to tell anyone about this, not even Sebastian. Okay. Okay, so let's go talk to Bertram. And if we don't have any luck with that, I just... I'm not sure what to do next for this. For missing data. Hey, Bertram. I'm glad you're here. I've heard you've been up to quite a bit lately. Very interesting. I was hoping you could help me with something. A little bird said they spotted you down in the Warrens. Gonna be back there soon. I might be. What do you need? I'm looking for a data CD. It was lost down there, supposedly. Find it for me and I'll teach you a thing or two. Some stuff that could really come in handy for you, from the sound of things. Sounds good. Hmm, great, great. Go to the Warrens, then find the data CD. Don't bother asking around for it. I've already made a pest of myself about this. Just find it. And bring it back. I've got a few more questions. Like what? Okay. We did get through all these. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I want to know about someone. Sure. Oh, I think we already did these. <sighs> the scene is dead. I'm out of here. Bertram is a deer. I wonder why he's up here instead of down with the other Nos, though. Well, I mean... Maybe he's a good liaison for surface stuff. Or maybe he just really wants to hang out with Jeanette. You never know. I'm not going to judge him for that. And he gave us so much information earlier. Very thankful for that. Okay, so we got to go back to Nos. Giovanni eventually. And then Chinatown. So Nos... In Chinatown. Because I really want to check out the Hengiokai. Okay. We made some really fucking good headway today. Let's head back to Chinatown. Oh, it's going to take me with it. Jeez. <laughs> That's fair. The Giovanni may not actually have the sarcophagus. We've been to many places that hey, supposedly baby. had it, but Make did not. Company. So, Chinatown. Need a ride? Um, sure. Let's go for a ride. I'll tell you when to stop. Bam. So, there were a lot of places we hadn't explored in Chinatown um, that we need to take a peek in. Only a few more, honestly, though. But I feel like other places will start to unlock... Um, we can't get in the fish market still. Um, the ramen place, supposedly, has that dude whose eyes we want for the guy in the white cloud. Still, we, we've seen horrific things in this game, but nothing is creepier than an old dude who's like, Hey, there was a guy that came into my shop. Heard he's on ice in the noodle place. Uh, give me his eyes. No. Mmm. Mmm. No, thank you. I hope that each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day. Or night. Whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. And I 
We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more content, you can check out these videos or my stream on Twitch or my reaction content on TikTok. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.